There has been a growing level of frustration here in uh, the U.S. about the uh, the the stalemate uh, of the uh, of the conflict that's gone on since the summer of 2016. Uh, and I think that there's a desire, uh, particularly on Capitol Hill, uh, to see the uh, the conflict end and the U.S. role uh, diminished. And then the third one, as uh, your correspondent pointed out, is the effect of uh, Jamal Khashoggi's uh, murder uh, and the fact that that has, in a sense, crystallized uh, concerns here in the United States about Saudi policy uh, and particularly about the role that Mohammed bin Salman, the crown prince, is playing. So all of those things have come together to put additional pressure on the administration uh, to, uh, to try to uh, bring the Yemen situation to an end. The other aspect of it, of course, is that undoubtedly within the administration there's some thought that a successful resolution of the Yemen conflict, in fact, will take some of the pressure off of other elements of the U.S.-Saudi relationship and reduce pressure on the administration to do something more aggressive uh, uh, towards the Saudi, uh, uh, Saudi leadership.